Oh, this feels very official. Like, oh, sat up to a desk. <laughs> I don't normally record my videos like this, but we have spent our life savings on this one room in our house. So I will film, take photos, create content in front of this wall as much as physically possible. <laughs> I said last week that I thought for this weekend's video, I would do a how I digitize my wardrobe video. And quite a few of you said, yeah, I would love to see that. So that is what this video is gonna be. How I digitalize my wardrobe, why I did it in the first place, why it's been really helpful, how I personally use it, plus something fun going forward. Um, I did do a sub stack on this, so if, if text is more your style, I will link that down below for you. But I've got it up here because basically this is my cliff notes. At the time of recording this video though, let me go and check, I have kept a digital log of my wardrobe and every single outfit that I've worn for 440 days. That's a lot of wardrobe cataloging. That's a lot of being on my wardrobe app. That is a lot of days. Um, last year, I did it every single day. The year before that, I think I started in the summer and then kind of like got off the bandwagon, got a bit bored with it, but then came back onto it at the beginning of the year and then was like, right, 2023, I'm gonna do this every single day. And I'm still in it now. There are so many reasons why I love doing this, but I will try to stay on message and, and go through this in a coherent way. Because I swear every time I film at the moment, it's like 45 minutes. <laughs> so I guess the big news is that I've moved from wearing over to index. I'd seen quite a few people that I follow on Substack mention index and it was over the Christmas holidays and I was like, ooh, let me download this app, see what it's all about. It's just sexy. It's just a very aesthetically pleasing, calming, chill app to look at, if that makes sense. Um, both of these are free, by the way. Wearing is free, Index is free. I don't know about any other wardrobe cataloging apps. Those are the only two that I've used, but those two are free to use, free to download. So like download, have a great old time on them. I actually contacted them to be like, I'm currently on wearing, like, is there any way, is there any export that I can have so I can like move all of my data over, I guess. And sadly at the moment, there isn't. So that is a bit of a shame if you're already on one platform moving it over to the other platform isn't like a nice little export button totally doable especially because you've got all of the data all of the photos already it is quicker because you're kind of already set up but that is something to note like moving from platform to platform it takes a bit of time so i made the move everything is over fully on index and i loved that and i didn't realize this at the time but you can basically have an open wardrobe so you can share a wardrobe with or your friends, just generally like me if you're a content creator on the internet with your readers, your viewers, um, and I've just got a completely open wardrobe on there. So if you wanna see every single thing that is in my wardrobe, you can like click on it, everything is like linked up. Um, I will link that down in the description box for you. But I kind of, I liked that functionality about Index. Obviously for me, it gave me a really good way to share my wardrobe with you, but also a good way like, between friends. Like, I think that'd be quite fun if you were like going out and you just didn't know what to wear and you were able to send your friend your digital wardrobe and be like, pick something from here. <laughs> your friend's like, I can help you out. I think that's kind of cool. The big question, why do it in the first place? Like, why? <laughs> I do feel like it's something you're either into or you're not. Like, you might even just have seen the title for this video and been like, absolutely not. <laughs> this is not for me. You're either the kind of person that is into this or you're not. And if you're kind of intrigued, I feel like you can be bought on board, but if you're just like, absolutely not, this is not for me, I totally understand it. Maybe you just maybe just want me to keep you company on this Sunday afternoon, and that I can do. I would say, number one, you're a type A, Virgo-ish personality, which like me, I am. Like, I love the organization. I love the idea of everything being like very efficient, very practical. So like that part of it just massively appeals to me, like the organization side. The second reason I would say is the data. For me, it's been so helpful to see what I wear a lot, what I don't wear at all, what I kind of wear in the middle and through adding things into my wardrobe and removing them from my wardrobe, I'm really able to kind of notice the patterns and notice my own personal trends of things that I might buy but don't really stand the test of time in my wardrobe. Maybe things that I'm buying on repeat and I'm like, I do not need any more white or black t-shirts. It's just really helpful to like recognize and see your own patterns. So for me, I like love the data, but then that's just, I just, I am, I'm a data nerd. And then the third reason is that for me, it has helped scratch the itch of shopping. It's just a fun, whenever I kind of feel in the mood to, to do a bit of shopping, I can go into a digital wardrobe app. I can look at everything that I own. 
I can start putting together different outfits. I can start categorizing those outfits into like meetings, events, working from home. Like I can kind of have that digital, like clear up organization moment or like the inspiration moment of creating new outfits. And that makes me realize I actually really love what I already have and therefore I don't need to buy that new thing. So for me, there are so many different reasons, but that's probably the biggest one that it's, it's helping to slow me down when it comes to spending and kind of do that whole scrolling, very satisfying experience. But all I'm doing is making outfits out of my own wardrobe. There is, there is no money being spent here. <laughs> also, I grew up with one of these. Like if you grew up with one of these, these types of wearing index style book, or all of these apps, like it's, it's the next level, right? <laughs> these apps are something that would have been my actual teenage dream. <laughs> okay, number two, getting started. This is probably the biggest barrier to entry. You're like, oh my gosh, you look at your wardrobe, you look at your phone, you're like, how am I gonna get all of that in here? That feels kind of stressful. That feels like it's gonna take a long time. And the answer is, I wouldn't say it's particularly stressful, but yes, it probably is gonna take a while. I usually have like 150 to like 160-ish items in my wardrobe, and to initially upload those onto wearing, I would say it took me like a good five nights, maybe it was a week, I can't remember exactly, but like a good five nights of every evening when I was like, you know, in front of the TV, watching Real Housewives or whatever, it, of doing that basically like every evening for a good two-ish hours. It takes on average, I've written this down, I'd say like three to four minutes to kind of catalog each item. And for me, that would take like almost eight hours <laughs> to do in one sitting. So this isn't something you're gonna be able to tackle in one sitting. And maybe you've got a wardrobe of like 40, 50 things, that's probably doable. But anything beyond that, this is gonna be, it's gonna take a bit of time. I found it really helpful to upload my category. So I was like, right, tonight I'm gonna do all my shoes or tonight I'm gonna do all my bags. Then I'm gonna do denim, then I'm gonna do jackets, like just to kind of categorize it and that way, I was able to make sure that I wasn't missing anything. I guess a denim, I'd be like, all right, okay, I've got all this denim. Oh wait, that's in the wash or, you know, that's hanging up to dry. And I was able to make sure that it was all being added and I wasn't missing anything out. The great thing with these apps, both wearing an index do this, is that they have an automatic background remover. So you can just like take a photo of a jacket on the floor and it will remove the background from it, create like a white background. So you're able to make those outfit collages just look really clean and crisp and gorgeous. So you don't need to really worry about what you're taking the photo on. However, I have personally found it just easier to try and take a photo online, like trying to screen grab from something online. If it's something that's still available, I will find the exact item. And if it's like a little product shot just against a plain background, I will just screen grab that on my phone and use that as the image for the item on my digital wardrobe. If it's on a model, um, that kind of becomes a bit tricky. Or say it's a vintage item, it's a secondhand item, you can't find the exact image. I honestly just find something that looks similar. So dish, um, everything is on a model, they don't do any product photos. So for my dish top, I just put in like ribbed, flared sleeve top beige and just go through Google images until I find something that looks similar. No, it's not the exact same. And sometimes I do lay a piece out on the floor and do it like the classic way. But I personally feel like it looks a little bit cleaner if it's taken from online. So that is how I've done it. I've also found that just a bit quicker because it means I can do it without even moving. I'm just sat here, you know, I'm just sat here. The final thing I would say is that when you're uploading your items, add in as much info as you can be bothered to do um, in terms of the brand, the color, how much you paid for it. Um, I'm not sure they have this on index, but they do have it on wearing, like whether it's pre-loved, handmade, new, whatever. Those things that you input, you get in output of data and analytics. So I, I love that. I love that side of things. I want to see my color wheel of like how much of my wardrobe is black, well over a third in case you're interested. <laughs> but the more you put in, the more you get out of it. So although it might seem a bit faffy to add certain details in and maybe certain things you just don't care about, so fine, don't add it in. But the more you put in, the more you get out. Okay, how do I use it? I use it every single day. I upload my outfit every single day onto the app. And I also keep it really current. So if there's something that I'm selling, I'll remove it from my wardrobe. That's like part of the selling process to me. I'm like, oh yeah, now I'm gonna sell those or donate those. 
I'll go into my digital wardrobe, I'll delete them, boom, they're gone. If I add anything to my wardrobe, again, I will go through and I will add it to my digital wardrobe. That is part of the process of me getting an item, trying it on, realizing that I like it, taking the tags out, hanging it up, getting it ready to go. I will upload it into my digital wardrobe at that moment. So it's very much just part of my process when it comes to my wardrobe, when it comes to my clothing. It's a daily thing. And I know it sounds, it sounds like a faff, right? You're like, oh my gosh, like making, making a collage every single day, it takes me, 45 seconds, easily under a minute. The good news is that wearing doesn't currently, at the time of filming this video, have a calendar kind of element to it. Whereas in wearing, you know, today is the 13th of Feb. I can go in and be like, right on the 13th of Feb, this is exactly what I wore. I'm pretty sure the index it's coming in in the next like two-ish weeks. So once that happens, I will fully move over to index because I, I like that feature in wearing it's not currently an index but it's coming because then it'll track your cost per wear all of that data is automatically like being created as you catalog your wardrobe and you add them to particular days of the week one quick tip that i have is i take daily outfit photos anyway for my sub stack like maybe you want to make a sub stack out of them as well i find it really this is something i don't know why, why i didn't do this before like it makes so much sense to have the data of like the daily outfit selfie because I, again, it's like, I'm noticing things. I can see certain uniforms emerging, like things that I'm reaching for a lot, but it also means that I have the outfit photo to go. So if I don't go in my wardrobe app daily, I can go in at the end of the week and I can see what I've been wearing for the week. And then I, if I forget, basically, it's, it's my memory. <laughs> I've got the selfie, I know what I was wearing, I can input it, I don't forget. Aside from having all that data, I'd say there are three things that it's really, really helpful for. One, packing lists. Like, I mean, I, don't go on too many trips these days. <laughs> but next time I do, I am 100% using this. I've tested it out on both wearing an index and I personally prefer index for this. It does a really clever thing of, say you create a handful of outfits and you're like, right, I wanna wear these outfits in New York. You add them to a packing list, you call it New York. It will then shoot out like a list of items to take with you. It'd be like, right, okay, you wanna make these outfits? Great, these are the items that you need. It, it's like, boom, your packing list is already there, it's done. I love that there's that two-way interaction and it is just out putting you a packing list. Like that, just to me, that makes sense. And that gets me so excited. That's one of those functions that you're just like, it just makes sense. And it's one of those moments when you're gonna feel really smug about having a digital wardrobe. You're like, this is what it's all about. <laughs> Another thing is something that I'm in the process of doing at the moment, but it's taking your inspiration and turning them into outfits. I am always like screen grabbing things. I've seen on Substack, I've seen on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, the whole shebang, Pinterest. I'm always screen grabbing, I'm always saving on my phone. And every now and again, I'll just go through, I'll select them, I'll put them in a, like an outfit ideas folder. So whenever I'm feeling a bit stuck, I can just scroll through, lots of different things to look at, love that. However, turning them into actual outfits, sometimes that's not necessarily the easiest thing to do. Sometimes I don't wanna stand there, try on a million different outfits. So whenever I'm like on the train to London, or I kind of just wanna scroll on my phone, but I don't wanna feel like, I'm rotting my brain. <laughs> it's quite fun to go into that folder, find an outfit that I like, and then go into my index and try and recreate it in my index so that it's just there. And I've already got like a little bank of outfits that I can just go in and pick from. I'm quite good with the tagging. I think it's quite important to categorize them. So I categorize them firstly by season, and then I also categorize them by like formality. I've basically got like casual weekend, working from home, meetings, events. Those are kind of my like four main outfit categories. Um, so then it's really easy to find. I could be like, oh, I'm going to an event in spring. There you go, what, what comes up? So that's something that I'm testing out at the moment and has been working really well. And ultimately it's just like a really fun thing to do. And the third thing I've mentioned earlier is sharing with friends. I love that there's that functionality of being able to like, boom, like send your whole wardrobe to a friend and they can help you out. Maybe they don't know what to wear for an event and you can send them your wardrobe and be like, well, this is what I've got if there's something you wanna borrow. I just love that there's that creative kind of back and forth. In fact, that, that happens to me a lot, that friends are like, oh, I've got a wedding. Have you got a dress I could wear? I could be like, boom, yeah, here you go. Here is my wardrobe. Have a little look through. You can borrow whatever you want. I think that's a really nice 
way to share. Another way that you can connect with others is on the Index app, they can connect you to a network of stylists. So you can upload your wardrobe. Once you're uploading your wardrobe, you can pick a stylist and kind of give them a brief, which is pretty cool. You can like be like, I'm looking for outfits for this particular occasion, or can you make me a capture wardrobe using just these items? You can be as prescriptive as you want, and the stylist will go in and create you a lookbook with 10 different outfits. And this is really cool, and it's something that I really haven't done before, but it basically fulfills a lifelong dream of mine. I can't believe I'm doing this. Um, I'm, I'm one of those people, I'm one of those people that can be connected with you and your wardrobe, you can go on and book a lookbook with yours truly, which is so cool. I've already done a handful and it's been really, really fun to go and dig around in other people's wardrobes, look at their brief, like look at what they need outfits for and kind of putting my own spin on their wardrobe and going through and creating a lookbook for them, which is so, oh my God, it's so cool. This year I really wanted to find new ways to like flex the creativity muscle and this just feels so exciting and something that I'm completely buzzing to do and it really, it combines like a lot of things that I'm trying to really work into this year of the whole being more mindful of things that we're purchasing. I mean, I've literally had a digital wardrobe for like 400 plus days. It's something I feel really passionately about. And feeding into that whole Alison Bornstein thing of you don't need new clothes, you just need new ideas. It's like one of those moments when you're like, this just makes sense. And I'm so excited to work on this. Um, the Index team have done an incredible thing actually, because I was like, I'm sure some of my audience will probably already have a digital wardrobe, but maybe you're set up on a different app. If you are and you book a lookbook with me, they will move over a hundred of your items for free. That is normally a service that you would have to pay for. But yeah, if you book onto a lookbook with me, they will move over a hundred of your items um, for free, which I'm like, oh, that's amazing. Thanks guys. So if you're already set up on a wearing, a style book, something else, and you want it all moved over to Index, that might be a good way of moving hopefully the majority of your wardrobe over to Index, but also getting a little 10 piece lookbook out of it as well. So I will put all of the links to all of this down below for you. Um, but hopefully this has talked you through like the what, why, how and showed you how it has been useful for me over the last couple of years, quite honestly. Um, yeah, what other videos shall I film in my um, coffee shop set up? <laughs> Someone said that to me and it really made me laugh. I'm like, I I'm happy with that. I'll take it as a compliment. I think next week I'm gonna do a little makeup look, maybe show you the waves, do a little tutorial on that. Um, and maybe after that, a February favorites. Oh, very old school. Oh my gosh, I just want to sit here and do a February favorites. Yeah, let me know any other videos you would like to see. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.